de GT26 Alstom gas turbine is a, a gas turbine that uh, is one of the biggest turbine made by Alstom in this moment GE Alstom with a power of 260 megawatts with a sequential uh, combustion chamber and an annular uh, combustion chamber. We will see in this video the main parts and the main elements of the uh, GT26. Normally the GT26 is uh, inside of a, a combined cycle because combined very well with a, a steam turbine and uh, in this uh, graphic we can see the turbine and we try to open the turbine here we will see that the turbine is composed by three main parts the first one is the compressor the second one is the combustor and the third one is the turbine goes uh, through the compressor opening the compressor we can see that the turbine is composed by 22 stage the third one are variables and uh, we can see here that it is possible to move the blades and moving the blades it is possible to change the amount of air that goes in the turbine see how is the movement and see that the uh, that the veins has a cylinder and hydraulic cylinder that can move and move the blades the same for the third, third stage changing this uh, it is possible to change the amount of air that goes in and uh, with the help of this mechanism we can uh, allow a very good efficiency when the turbine is working at a partial load. Remember that an axial compressor works because uh, we are uh, reducing step by step. We reduce the space and then is the same amount that air that goes in by the first uh, stage um, occupied less space then we increase the pressure. In this model of, tur of turbine uh, we increase a lot of the pressure because the, the, when normally other turbines were mm, uh, between 10 bar, 15 bar at the outlet of the compressor, this turbine works at a pressure near 30 bar. Mm. Then the inlet is ambient pressure and the outlet is at uh, 30 bar. In different points, we takes a little amount of air to refrigerate the combustion chamber and to refrigerate the first stage of the expansion turbine. The combustion chamber is very strange in this turbine. It's, it's not the most common configuration. First is a, a annular um, combustion chamber. Means that the space is a complete uh, space for all the combustion chamber and we have uh, different combustors uh, in an annular configuration but all the gas, the hot gas that come from the compressor and uh, that the, the combustor increase the temperature are in the same space. This is different uh, than the, the other configuration, the can annular configuration and in the can annular configuration uh, every combustor has his own space. The difference between this turbine and other turbines is that we have two uh, combustion chambers. The first one is this one, but after this first uh, uh, combustion, we have a second combustion. Uh, this allows 
that the temperature uh, was not very big as, for example, in General Electric models or Siemens model or Mitsubishi model. And here the, the temperature is uh, lower, is around uh, 1,250 more or less, is the temperature here in this point. And uh, this allows to use material less expensive and even the degradation of this blade are lower than you know, other models. Between the first and the second combustion, we have a row of uh, blades. If this is the, the high pressure stage, and uh, this first row is responsible for the 50 70 percent of the energy produced in the turbine. The rest of the blades for uh, other stage. Uh, are responsible for only the uh, 30, between 30 and 50 percent uh, of the total power. Here we can see better the different part that compose the EB combustor, the first of the stage uh, of the combustion. This coat, this ceramic coat, is very important, and this ceramic coat uh, allow mm, that the turbine can resist this high temperature that uh, we are here in this um, uh, space. And now we will see how this gas turbine works. First, the air comes from the uh, filter house. This is the generator. See, uh, this is the exciter, the generator, and now this is the inlet. Here, in this space, um, we can recognize the, here in this part the um, two beatings, the journal beating and the trust beating. Now the air will come from this part and start the compression here in the compressor. They are coming. See that mm, uh, here in the, in the animation uh, appear that this, mm, uh, all these uh, wheels are turning at the same time, at the same speed. But the animation is made uh, with a stroboscope uh, sensation. But uh, remember that all the mm, sta uh, stage are rotating at the same speed and in the same direction. Well, see how it's increased the pressure. See that this uh, we are available all this space, but here is the same amount of air in less space. The difference of the volume here and here is 30. Then uh, the pressure is incre increasing 30 times. They are coming. And remember, these three steps can uh, turn a little bit to adjust uh, the, the amount of air that come in. And now we will see that the, a very strange way that do the, the air, the compressed air, uh, the, the air here has 30 bar, more or less, and, and the temperature here is around 300 degrees. It's a very high temperature. With this strange circulation of the air, we try to cool down the, uh, the combustion chamber. Remember that the temperature here is around 1,250 degrees, and the metal uh, does not allow this temperature. There's, uh, we have a, a ceramic cover, but even with that, it's not possible to resist this very high temperature. See that the, the turbulence is very well represented in this animation, and the turbulence of the air, the, the, the shape of uh, this um, combustor, allow this turbulence. This turbulence is because when the gas natural uh, goes in, it is necessary to mix very well the, the natural gas with 
de R. Now, the, remember that the turbine is starting. Uh, in this animation, it represented the, the starting process, and we will see that the gas coming in three steps. The first one is the uh, ignition torch. The ignition torch is a, a flame, and with this flame are located three of them in uh, all the circumference, and uh, together with the uh, torch, we have here one sensor. This sensor is to detect if the uh, flame has started or not. We have, uh, together with the ignition torch, we have a spark here, and the spark with the gas, uh, with this gas, start the flame. Normally, the gas uh, that we use to start is not natural gas. Normally, it's propane or another gas, more easy to flame. After the ignition torch uh, has started, uh, we need to introduce in the uh, combustor uh, one special mix of, uh, of gas, it's a stoichiometric uh, amount, it's uh, richer than uh, the, the mix that we will use after, is to facilitate the ignition process, the, the start process. Then uh, the gas goes in, Uh, here, in the animation, it represented only one combustor part. Remember that all the combustor are together at the same time, are uh, has flame. And once the flame is established, we change. We stop the introduction of, ga of natural gas by this way, and we start. The, um, the introduction of natural gas by other ways. We reduce the amount of uh, gas, we increase the proportion between mm, gas and air to do a very poor relation between natural gas and uh, air. Normally, we need 17 kilos of air uh, for every kilo of gas. But in this case, we use, uh, in, in gas turbine, we use between three times and five times uh, this relation. That means that we use, instead of uh, 17 kilos of air for one kilo of natural gas, we use 15 or even more uh, kilos of air for every kilo of natural gas. This is to reduce the temperature, to refrigerate, uh, because if not, the temperature in the, here in this area is around 2,500 or even more. The material uh, does not resist this very high temperature. And for that reason, we need to introduce refrigeration air, an uh, extra amount of air to cool down the mix. Now, uh, with the normal situation, the, the premix um, relation of uh, natural gas and air, uh, we uh, introduce, see that we introduce this mix at very high temperature, 1250 degrees more or less, we uh, add 30 bar, we decompress. Uh, this mix here goes through this blade, these veins, and this blade, this first road. Uh, we have uh, around 200 blades here, these uh, are very small, but the price of this uh, very small blade is very high. It's around uh, 6,000 or more is the price of every one of these uh, little blades. The pressure in the inlet is around 30 bar. The pressure 
of the audit is around 17 bars. Then we lose 30% uh, of the um, pressure and we produce uh, a lot of energy with this descompression. Around 50% of the energy is produced in this first state. Then we go to the second combustion stage. In this stage, we don't need nothing, torch or something like that. We need only introduce gas and the turbulence is created inside. And directly uh, the, the mix is put on fire and we can introduce from this uh, 17 bar to uh, ambient pressure goes through four different uh, stage. See that the life of the turbine is, is limited because uh, there is an element that suffers degradation because of the temperature. The part that suffers more degradation uh, are this combustion chamber, this combustion chamber, all these elements must be replaced time by time. The combustor uh, is necessary to replace time by time. And this blade, this first row, the second row and the third row, and even the veins that works together with this uh, stage, uh, it is necessary to replace it. And all this element, it is necessary to check by voroscopic inspection time by time, once per year, more or less, in a turbine that works um, uh, 6,000 hours per year. And uh, every three years, more or less, every uh, 25,000 hours, it is necessary to open uh, the turbine and replace all this element. We have seen in this video the main element, the main part of a, a GT26 a gas turbine. And in the next video, we will see the maintenance plan of a gas turbine.